The Create mod is a fantastic addition to Minecraft and can be used to bring life to your Minecraft worlds, along with automatic farms, production facilities, and well, the downright hilarious contraptions. Ah! Today, we're going to take a look at the basics of the Create mod as found in the All of Fabric 6 mod pack here on the Nugget SMP. But before we can progress to more sophisticated automated processes like you can see here, we need to take a step back to the very basics of the mod and how I got started here on the server. While the gears and cogs are warming up, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Welcome to my creative world. First thing, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the most important item in the create mod. So stick around till the end to see what it is. With that done, the first thing you'll want to do is head down into the mines and get plenty of iron, copper, zinc, and most important of all, andesite. Trust me, do this before any projects. However much you think is enough, triple it. Next, grab heaps of logs. You'll see why soon. Now, on with the basics of Create. Create is a mod all about making machines or contraptions that can automate processes for you. At the heart of this is two key components. Power generation can be done a number of ways in the Create mod. Windmills and steam engines can provide larger power abilities, but normally you're going to start with a water wheel. Now you can orientate a water wheel horizontally or vertically. As long as water can flow over and around it, you will generate power. In this shot, you can see a setup of a wheel vertically using soul sand to generate further speed and thus power output. However, there is an easier way to get the same result, even if you haven't been to the nether yet to grab some soul sand. First, dig a three x three hole and place the water wheel in the middle as shown. If we place a water source in the corner, you can see the amount of stress units being generated. We can see this because I'm wearing these snazzy engineer goggles. With our wheel now, let's place a block in the corner. Don't worry, the wheel will still turn. Now let's place our water source next to this block. Now, it's important to place the water so it flows the correct way around the wheel, otherwise we will not get maximum effect. In this example, I have the water flowing the wrong side and we are generating this many stress units. Now, if we put this on the correct side, boom, we hit 320 stress units, the maximum for a water wheel. Later, you will want to upgrade to other forms of power because 320 units will not provide you with enough power for long. Now, you can see as the wheel turns, this little square knobby thing on the side is now rotating. Now, this is where we get our rotation from. To tap into this, we're going to want shafts made from two andesite alloy. Andesite alloy? What is that? I can hear you asking from here. Remember how I said at the start that iron and andesite are going to be needed? This is why. So much of what you need throughout your create journey will depend on this single simple alloy. Now this is the recipe for the alloy here. Early game, it's quite expensive, but as we move on, you'll find how we can make it cheaper. Our first contraption we will want to build is a mechanical press. These are really simple. We connect our shafts, but now we need to connect to our press. We do this using a gear which we make using cogs and andesite casing. Andesite casing is simple enough by placing down a log, stripping it, and then clicking on it with an andesite alloy. Perfection. Next, we pair up planks with shafts to get some cogs, and then assemble it as per the recipe. But our gear does not work. That's because the shafts from the wheel need to connect to the knobs on the gear itself. Taking the gear to a crafting table, we can simply change it to a vertical gear, meaning we can easily now change the direction towards our press. Now with the press connected, we can throw an ingot under it. It will automatically detect it and come down, giving us a sheet. Brilliant. So to make it easier, we can place a block called a depot under it, which can hold items for us that need to be bulk pressed, such as this stack of iron. 
which will now stay here until I collect it later. Fully pressed. The next contraption that we will want is a mixer. Mixers can be used to craft various items together. For example, making our alloy. You can see in the recipes for the alloy that the mixer option is way cheaper than making it by hand, halving the requirements. It also says the basin does not need to be heated, but that's something we'll cover in a future video. The mixer is set up with a basin under it, which is needed to hold the ingredients we are going to mix together. We simply connect it to our power source and boom, it's spinning. Now we throw in our ingredients and nothing happens. I mean, we're only using 80 stress units, so we have plenty of power left in the water wheel. But you can see here, we are not generating enough rotational speed to make the mixer work. So how do we fix this? Cogs, a big one and a little one. Much the same as real life, when you use a big cog, then attach a smaller cog to it, you will increase the rotational speed of the smaller cog by a significant factor. Now, our only issue here now is that the cog is vertical, but we need to feed the rotation to the mixer horizontally. So to align the cogs, we just put a little puzzle together using our gears, and there we go. Now we are working at correct speed. You will notice though, the higher the speed, the higher the stress units used. The press and the mixer are now using the full output of the water wheel. Now we throw our ingredients into the basin and shortly we now have our alloy. Nice. These are the basic first steps that you should take to start using Create in your playthroughs. The start of Create can feel very tedious as you have to craft a lot of little things like shafts and cogs, etc. manually and figure out the puzzles of how to connect power and rotation the right way. But the more you start to automate processes, the more you start to understand the concepts and the sooner you can start putting together assembly lines and having lots of fun with the mod. Now, I promise to look at the most important Create item in the game. To do that, we need to fast forward our create journey a little and rejoin me back on the Nugget SMP server. We as a server group are going to go and fight the dragon tonight. I am fully prepared to do so with my potato cannon. This contraption is amazing. Shooting golden carrots with it can take down these hogs in only three well-placed shots. This dragon stands no chance. However, I was in for a rude shock when we all assembled to take on the beast. The theme is bricks and sticks, or sticks and bricks, whichever you want to call it. <laughs> Pebbles so and everybody have a stick, stone. everybody have some bricks, and that's how we're going to kill the dragon while wearing wooden armor. You're telling me I spent all this time putting this together, and now we're going to fight the dragon with wooden armor and stones? Good thing this isn't a modded server where the dragon fight will be the normal cakewalk, right? Right? Those phantoms are terrible. Thank you very much. Yeah, we might have to rethink and this. Water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Alright, where's my Kurdo? Oh, yeah, oh, definitely the bricks. Okay, where's my stick? Ow, ow. Uh, okay, I need more. Oh, what somebody threw place? pebbles. Somebody threw a bunch of pebbles. Okay. <laughs> the blazes are. It is a bit more chaotic than we anticipated. Yeah, we in, we didn't anticipate oh, blaze everywhere. and phantoms More and her bringing back the crystals. It's a oh, challenge. We need the challenge. Yeah, yeah. Franco's assault and diamond. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Now it's time to kill all the blazes. <laughs>